I obviously teach about it in my classes and I try to teach about it in such a way that the students realize they don't have to accept my position but I also teach about it where very honestly unlike some of my colleagues if I dare say many of my colleagues I think that a professor has a responsibility to let the students know where we stand and then let the students freely get to where they want to be but to pretend that I'm neutral on the matter is to suggest that when I took my PhD I took an oath and became a moral eunuch. I'm opposed to death penalty, I'm opposed to racial profiling, I'm opposed to abusive force by police, I'm opposed to abusive discretion by judges, and I ought to be. We all ought to be. But I don't make you choose to be opposed to it, I just tell you I'm opposed to it and here's why. And then you figure it out and your grade is not dependent on whether you convert to Longmireism or not. Um, so I teach about the death penalty. One of the undergraduate classes that I teach infrequently, but when I do teach undergraduates, this is the class that I teach, is called Professionalism and Ethics in Criminal Justice. I think the death penalty is a legitimate topic for that particular class, and we talk about the death penalty for one small section in that class. The rest of the semester we talk about questions of whether it's ethical for prosecutors to prosecute someone they think is innocent, whether it's, whether it's ethical for defense attorneys to defend someone vigorously that they think is guilty. And so there are all kind of issues around ethics that face criminal justice professionals. And so we talk about them all, including the death penalty.